This video is sponsored by Makespace. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a digital slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Now before I begin with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and just to put it out there that we have redesigned our complete website. So make sure you check it out at www.dopemotions.com. The link will be in the description below. If you love the design and the complete website, do let me know in the comments below or if you have any suggestions, they are always welcome. So with that out of the way, let's start by creating a new composition called this main as this is going to be our main comp. This time I'm going with 2K because I'm recording the complete tutorial in 2K resolution. You can of course go with 1920 by 1080 but I am going with 2K that is 2560 into 1440 with 30 FPS and keeping it 30 seconds long. Hit OK. There we go. There we have our main comp. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our media placeholder where you can drag and drop in any image or video, whatever that you want to use. I'm going to call this media underscore one hit. OK and drag and drop in the image that I want to use. Let's scale this down. So hit S and let's bring that down a bit just like so. All right. Now let's drag and drop in the media comp into our main comp and create an reveal for this. So to create a reveal, I will be using a track mat technique, which is pretty simple and basic, but looks pretty cool. So let's create a new composition called this map. Hit OK, create a new solid. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this F for fractal noise and go into effects and preset and type in fractal. Double click. To apply that up now let's go into the noise type and I'm gonna set this to block we don't need any complexity so let's bring that down to one go into the transform properties and unlink the uniform scaling so let's scale this one that is the width to 640 and height to 360 so we have some nice big boxes. Now we can adjust this position by just simpling this slider by just sliding this slider just like so. And let's place them into the position. So there you go. There you have it. Now we need to animate these boxes. So what I'm going to do is basically animate the brightness just like that. Right. So let's set this to minus 110. At the very start of our timeline, let's create a keyframe on the brightness. I'll go to around four seconds and bring that down to zero. So if I hit you, we have this simple animation as you can see, and this is going to be our revealing track mat. Now let's select the layer, hit control shift C to precompose this called this fractals. Make sure you click on move all attributes and hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. So hit control D to duplicate it. Go into effects and preset and type in what was it? Um, find edges. Yeah. And let's set this to invert and set the blending mode to screen. If you don't see this blending mode option, you can hit F4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible. So with this, it helps us to create this nice lines, which adds a bit more detail to our complete map. Now, before I proceed further with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to Buro Stories. This is an After Effects project which will be a great tool for social networks such as Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, WhatsApp, etc. With these trendy designs and amazing animation, you will be able to impress your customers and increase some sales. The project includes 127 fully and professionally animated slides. With this, you can easily create professional content. You can make high quality advertising with Buro Stories. For more information, check out the link in the description below. So let's get back to the tutorial. 
let's go back into our main comp drag and drop in the map composition just like so i'm gonna hit f4 make it 3d hit s and bring up the scale to around 120 and now we don't see anything so let's actually select the media composition hit f4 so we can see the track mat option and set this to luma mat so basically it's gonna create this nice reveal as you can see looks pretty cool yep let's select the media layer go into effects and preset and let's add a tint on this then let's select both these layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate them let's select this one and remove the tint from that and what i'm going to do is select the map layer hit r to rotate this and rotate the z rotation at 180 degrees and then i'll jump 10 frames or maybe 15 frames forward in time and let's move these two layers forward just like so so now we have this really nice reveal as you can see and that is looking pretty good let's hit f4 and make sure all the layers are 3d except the last one so we can actually change the color of this just so we know that we don't need to make this 3d now let's create a new camera I'm going to go with 50 millimeters looks good hit OK create a new null object and I'll call this cam control so cam underscore C make it 3D and pattern the camera to this cam control layer that is the null object if you don't see this parent option again you can hit F4 or you can just right click go into columns and select the parent and link option so now we can easily move the camera you know hitting p on the position and then just animating this just like so let's go to four seconds or actually let's go to three seconds create a keyframe on the position go back and let's move this out but obviously we can't see anything so i'm going to move this a bit forward and then move this to the right i'll hold shift just like that and then move the keyframe at the very start so basically we have this really nice and simple animation then i'll go to around four seconds create a keyframe by clicking on this icon go to five second and 15 frames and then move it in the desired direction so i'm gonna move this to the left so this is gonna be our out animation and while that is happening i want to add a little bit of scale animation so i'll hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe hit u go at around somewhere there and let's set this to 95 percent so we have a little bit of scale animation as you can see now obviously the movement that is the position animation is not looking that great so i'm going to select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor make sure you right click and select edit speed graph i'm going to select this point and move this to the left select this one and move this to the right so let's see what we get so now you can see we get this really nice and elegant animation yep as you can see this is looking pretty nice now one thing that i want to add is when it animates out i want to i want to add a little bit of zoom animation into the background so i'll select this hit s create a keyframe Go right here and set this to somewhere around like 150 should work select this keyframe set f9 go into the graph editor and move this to the right so now we have this really nice scale animation as you can see in the background maybe a bit more so i'll set the scale property 200 and let's see what we get yep that is looking very nice pretty cool so hit ctrl a u to hide everything all right so now i can go ahead and add some nice title to this design so let's select the text tool make some room right here and for the font i'm going with the kelson sans you can of course use any different font if you want to digital tech slides Let's make this all caps and set this to zero and increase the height a bit. There we go. Looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll set this to around 120, I think. And let's adjust this. 
Now to make the text a bit more readable, what I can do is select the rectangle tool for shape layer and double click to apply that up. Go into rectangle one, rectangle path one, unlink this and bring this down just like so. Click on this icon. So it's going to convert the shape layer into an adjustment layer Call this blur and going to fix and preset and type in fast blur legacy one repeat edge pixels and set this to around 85 or something that looks good and then make sure it's 3d and place it oh also make sure the text is 3d and place this behind the text and into the position something like so Control shift H so we can just see the design we can hide the control layers basically all right so that is looking pretty good now as a element i'm gonna add a, a nice small element to complement our text so i'm gonna set the stroke to five we don't need any fill i'm gonna set the fill to none and we can create just a nice small rectangle maybe and i'll move this let's go into rectangle path and unlink this let's increase the size a bit and move this a bit now obviously i can increase the stroke size to 10 that looks much better and i can parent this make sure it's 3d and parent this to the text call this box so now we have something like this i want to add a little bit of parallax between the text and the background so what i can do is select the text layer hit p for position and bring this closer to the camera so i'll go with something like minus 1500 and obviously scale down the text and let's place it into the position now let's see so now i can see there is a little bit of parallax which looks pretty nice and i like that now let's add a little bit of animation to our text as well so let's go into the properties Going to animate and add an opacity animation set this to zero go into range selector let's make some room right here and let's say around three seconds mm, yeah three seconds should work set the offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go to one second set this to minus 100 go into advanced properties and set this to ramp up randomize on and now we have this really nice digital text animation feel to our text also i can animate the box that we have so select it go into the rectangle path create a keyframe go to one second and let's set this to zero actually and there we go there we have this nice animation let's select this hit f9 go into the graph editor and let's move the point to the left and also i'm gonna add a little bit of opacity animation right here so select this hit t create a keyframe go to one second and set this to zero select this and hit f9 so now we have this really nice reveal as you can see now we can go ahead and add some elements to you know make the complete animation look a bit more interesting and filled up so the first element that i'm going to add is a shape mov that i have right over here and by the way you can download the complete free project file from the link in the description below so let's drag and drop it it's basically some shapes animating if i just preview this really quick you can see pretty cool so let's place it hit Control shift h so we can see the control layers and i'm going to place this one right here hit Control d and Rotate this by 180 degrees and place this one right over here. So we have a nice shape animation. Maybe I move this a bit forward in time. And there we go. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. Also, I want to make them 3D obviously so they can move along with the camera animation. Yep, that is looking pretty nice. All right. 
And finally, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Call this CC for color correction. Go into fix and preset and type in curves. And let's increase the contrast of the complete animation. Switch to blue channel and add a bit of a blue color to add that nice techie feel to this. Pretty cool. And let's also add a little bit of glow. And let's set this to around 70 should work and increase the glow radius really high. Maybe increase this a bit. So yeah, that is actually looking pretty nice. Yep. There we go. So there we have our slideshow. Now, one thing that a lot of people ask me is that how we duplicate this and how we actually create a complete set of multiple slides. So let me just show you that also. So I'll select the complete all the layers, basically hit control shift C to precompose them. Call this SC underscore um, oh, one that is scene number oh, one. And this is how I work. Uh, I create templates for video hive in the same method. So I use this script called true comp duplicator to which I'll mention the link in the description below. So basically this helps me to duplicate each and every um, comp without selecting them. So this is the scene one. This is the main comp. All I have to do is click on, you know, duplicate selected layer and also make sure you put all the comps in their particular folder just to be a bit more, um, you know, you don't get messed up. So I'll select the scene one for now create duplicate selected that's it so now we have scene 2 and now what I'm going to do place this right over here and also go into scene 2 and change the media too so we don't get confused so I'm going to use this image that we have let me scale this down a bit all right so in the scene 2 we have this nice image but now we want to change the animation because I want the animation to animate out in a different way. So I'll select the scam control, hit U. Let's zoom in a bit. And what I'm going to do is delete this keyframe. Go right over here and move this in a different direction. So let's say I'll move this to the bottom. And bam, there we have an out animation in a different direction. So now if I go back into my main comp and let's position them properly so i'll position this something like that so now we have our first slide animation and then it switched to the second slide and in the same way you can create multiple different slideshows just make sure you put them in the correct folders that you have created if not you know you'll get a bunch of comps laying around in the project panel and that can get a bit messy while creating a complete site show so yep that is all for today guys i hope also one thing that i forgot to add is the number not my phone number but the actual number of the slide so i'm gonna set this to zero one increase the size way high just like that i can also make this bold maybe switch this to strokes and set the blending mode hit f4 to overlay and also make it 3d and there we go looks pretty nice the same way you can add it to the second scene as well that is number two so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i know it's a bit too long but i hope you're still here and enjoyed this complete tutorial so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and um, yeah that's all i guess i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative baby peace out